When it comes to preparing for your retirement, there are a lot of complicated decisions to choose from. So how do we make sure we're making the right calls? Back with us today are Gary Matson and Laurel Stewart, the father-daughter duo, part of the team at Matson Financial, a full-service financial and retirement firm in the Grand Rapids area. They're also popular radio show hosts. We need to say good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Leanne. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hey, for those that are on the verge of retirement, how exciting, but how big a deal is it for them to be thinking about having income? Yeah, really, income is the basis, right? That's the bread and butter of the retirement plan. So if you're getting ready for retirement, you really need to make sure that you have an income plan in place. One that is, you know, we're truly diversifying your assets. We know where you're going to start taking your income and how much. And when we really get to those details, we actually go back to that very first meeting and looking at, you know, what do you want to do in retirement? Because my dreams and goals and aspirations and my husband's are probably very different than what my mom and dad, even if we're the same age and same timeline of things, is just very different. And so we probably need a different, um, you know, monthly income stream than they would. And so that's the key piece is dialing into what do you want to do? What are your dreams, goals, and desires? And then creating the income plan based on that. And Social Security can actually be a source of income. So how do we go about maximizing those benefits? Well, Social Security is one of those things that we want to have, and it's nice as a benefit, but also there's so many myriads of ways of taking it. And sometimes we look at it, hey, we're eligible, so let's take it right away and don't think about the tax implications. And sometimes we take it and not think about when the person's left, the spouse is left behind. Because again, what happens during that time frame is that not only do we have a person who leaves us and loses that income, even though we get the higher of the two, in essence, then we also get a lose a tax deduction. So now we're going to be attacking our retirement assets to pay out more money, which puts us in a new tax bracket. So all of that comes together in a form that we want to look at and call it a Social Security Optimization Report. What's best for both of you all the way through retirement, not just starting in retirement? And so it's a great base to start with, but then it has to be supplemented with other assets also. Or and, I, and I love it when people are starting to come to us and they start understanding that, hey, it's just not about me and this maximum benefit. You know, we have husbands that call in and say, I really want to make sure my wife is taken care of after I'm gone. So I want to make sure we're doing this the right way. And then looking at individual retirement accounts, is there a misconception that you really need to immediately withdraw from those to fill the income gap? I think there can be because a lot of times, um, you know, you have income sources coming in like Social Security, like Dad had mentioned. Maybe you have a pension, you've got your retirement savings, so you really have income coming at you through all these different streams. Um, and if you are one that you have saved majority or all of your assets and putting that into a 401k, Obviously, you're looking at that thinking you have to take, you know, from a pre-tax standpoint. But there are all, you know, a lot of different options out there when it comes to tax planning and looking at optimization there and strategies to see if there is something else out there that you should be doing and taking advantage of that rather than paying, you know, that 22% or more maybe in federal taxes plus the 4.25% state of Michigan and maybe even plus your Grand Rapids or your city tax. So a lot to look at when it comes to that tax piece. In addition to that piece, you really want to look at standpoint is that if I'm getting ready to retire, in other words, I'm not there yet, and I'm 36 months or less away, or there's a possibility I might be you know, downsized, you really want to go into your 401k and put about 18 months of assets away in a stable value fund. So if you do leave or are forced to leave, that the market conditions will not change the fact that you have income coming in without losses. So kind of that red zone thing you need to look at. Yeah, so there's a big difference between being a good option and, and the right option, basically. Absolutely, you know. Not only is it you got to look at it from the standpoint as fiduciaries, we look at it, does it work for you today, but does it work all the way through the plan? You know, as Laurel likes to say so many times when we're on the radio, is the fact that you're going to be in retirement 25, 30, 35 years. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult to make a decision today that you know is going to be right 30, 35 years from now. And that's why, again, doing this for over 30 years for our clients, we've been able to see some of the things that trip up other financial advisors and plans or clients and their plans and we make sure that we cover those things now so while we're bright we're active we can make credible decisions and know how to handle those tough things when they come along the way.
And how does a proper tax plan factor into a successful retirement? Yeah, so I feel like this is one of those pieces when it comes to the retirement plan that is really missed. A lot of times, you know, your advisor might be doing really well for you and getting those great returns um, and riding the markets, but now what is that going to do for an income stream to you and what does that look like taxation wise? So you wanna make sure that you're not just taking money out um, and where you don't have a tax strategy in place and you're giving more money away to the government than you have to, right? We wanna be fair and pay our taxes that are due, but why overpay? Because it's your hard earned money. So making sure that strategy is in place, talking with your advisor, and it's a very fluid plan. You know, your retirement plan should be flexible no matter what, but especially with tax planning, it's gonna change possibly every year with tax laws. We know something's gonna change this year with the new Biden um, administration coming in. So just keeping an eye on that is very crucial. And why is it important to dial back some market exposure at this stage of life? Well, let's face it, if all you have in your portfolio is stocks and bonds, that's what you're going to realize what's going on. And so many times we have it where we're seeing the 2000, 2008, 2020, when people are in retirement and those two assets go all the way down and you still need income. So it's not just about having assets in a position of diversification, which is really good, but different strategies. So we wanna pick up assets outside of just stocks and bonds, and then also different strategies, because different strategies work different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, buy and hold in 2020 worked very well. But when the market was down, maybe harvesting tax losses may have been right for one client, where another client wouldn't have been appropriate for. So it's making sure the plan works for that individual all the way through, and making sure you don't have tax trip ups or tax bombs that you're supposed to, and making sure you get to keep the money or pass it on to your heirs if that's your choice. And what can making these calls potentially do for our retirement? Yeah, it just really gives you the lifestyle, hopefully, that you've you know worked so hard for and you desire, but also being able to have you know this these types of conversations with your advisor lets you know that you are in the know and you can take control, um, and it's not the markets dictating what you want to do, but rather you get to dictate how your plan is going to work, and that's once again coming back to you're in the control. Yeah, stress-free retirement. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, and you do have something special for our viewers. For the first five callers, if you save $250,000 or more for retirement, this is a great opportunity. We'd love to hear from you, um, sitting down with one of our advisors, complimentary, to get started on you know, really looking at your retirement plan, those dreams, goals, and desires, and getting that started for you. Wonderful. And the number is right there on your screen, 616-514-3831. Wonderful information. Thank you so much for your time.